What's up guys, BTBS here, welcome back to another episode of Agrarian Skies. This is really quiet. That's better. Now I can turn my mic volume down, there we go. Right, um, oh, hang on. sorry, that shouldn't have caused any problems, perhaps he's normally pretty good at that. Right, yes, um, progress. So, I have been busy, very, very busy. So, I want to take these and throw them into here. One of those, one of those, and then one of those. Like this. So, um, do you guys remember how I made this over here? Well, I left it for about three hours and um, I got this, just four pieces of taint. And uh, during that time I was looking through other stuff. Guess what? Bottled taint fucking creates a tainted biome. Ow. It also poisons you. And I put a... Uh, Ow. Ow. I put down a node. Basically, I was trying everything I could to get um, taint. And if I check my... F3. Deep ocean, ocean, tainted land. There are actual tainted lands here now. Which is awesome. I just need to um, get the taint to spread more. So I need to make more bottles of taint. And the easiest way of doing that... The easiest way of getting the taint is to just spread it... Jesus Christ, that's a lot of cosmeter. Um, yeah, I just want to spread it like I was, and where is my jar full of taint? Oh, I'm like out of taint. Okay, um, I should probably melt down some more. Where are these? These only have three on them each. Just get them out of my inventory so they don't disapparate. Oh, there you go, I've got another ten in there. Yeah, that'll do. So, yeah, I'm working on various things. I built the Ethereal Bloom. Uh, I found out the thing I needed for it was to um, actually just research, I think it was some taint, like scan some fibrous taint or something like that, I actually can't remember, but I got it, and uh, that should be a quest knocked off, that was a quest wasn't it, I can't remember, um, oh that's a quest we haven't unlocked yet, <laughs> typical, <clears throat> uh, yeah I've slightly run out of aspects so I'm just, uh, Deconstruction tabling up some uh, rotten flesh because it can give you every primal aspect. I need to find a better method of getting hold of lots, which, you know, really the only method is um, scanning shit. There is a quest I want to do to make um, a new thing. So, yeah, by the way, the bottle taint is over here. It's uh, alchemical duplication and tropic processing bottle taint. And, oh, yeah, yeah, um, uh, because I learnt a couple new researches, I started getting worse warp, and I unlocked the purifying bath salts, the sanitizing soap, and the alkane spa. I have some bath salts in here, made some of those, and in fact if I go in here, I have a block of tallow. Tallow. Nice. And what I'm going to want to do is drop these, 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 and that. And that gets me a sanitizing soap. That should be... I dropped something extra in there. It wasn't a tool or something, was it? Seriously, where the hell did that fall? Did I drop a crafting table in there? What has four Fabrico? Oh, thank God, I thought I might have dropped my golden fucking bag in there. Oh, that was terrifying. Um... I did have a crucible on me that I might have dropped. Eh, yeah, fuck it. Ain't that important. Four Fabrico, four magic. Yeah, that was probably a crucible. Yeah, I dropped my crucible in there. That's why you need to be careful that your inventory is uh, as, like nice and vetted before you do this. Because it can end up bad. Also, there's a thing I want to check. There's There used to be an item from some Thorncraft add-on or another that allowed you to build a thing to see exactly how much warp you had. And I, for the fucking life of me, could not remember what it was called, where you find it, how you build it, anything like that. I don't even remember what mod it was from. But it looks like we still haven't unlocked the, um, the warp tab in the book, so we are going to need to learn some... We are going to need to get more warp before, uh... 
going on. But yeah, I wanted to show you uh, the purifying salts and the sanitizing soap. Because if you haven't seen them, they are quite interesting. So the purifying salts, you drop them into some water and they should dissolve. They're not dissolving. Why are they not dissolving? Tossing these into water will turn it into a... Yeah, it's supposed to... There we go. And then you uh, you take a bath in that water, and that gives you... Uh, that gives you an enchantment called Warp Ward, which is proportional to how much warp you have and how bad it is and what types of warp you have. And the sanitizing soap... You just... Uh, weird. You just uh, get into some water and then wash yourself with the soap. I wonder. That's weird. Oh, well. The thing about the sanitizing soap, it can be used multiple times. But uh, eventually it's just going to break. It's like a random chance. But that has a chance of getting rid of hard to get rid of warp. There's three warps, normal, temporary, and permanent. The temporary warp can be gotten rid of very easily just by, like, you know, taking a bath or just clicking the soap once. The temporary warp, the, uh, sorry, the normal warp, you have a chance of getting rid of it by using the sanitizing soap, and I believe when the soap disappears it's guaranteed to have gotten rid of some. And the third type, the permanent warp, is the stuff you actually cannot get rid of and you just have to manage. So yeah, um, there is the arcane spa, but that's uh, not something I want to build right now. What do I want to do? I was looking into something and I can't remember what. Mm, where are those mana lens things? I remember there was some uh, some stuff I wanted to build. Yeah, I've been exploring this to try and find that thing. Oh, creature infusion. Yeah, I've been looking into uh, whatever this one is. Thormic Horizons. This is what I want. I want the Scholar Lens. Uh, apparently, this allows you to infuse animals and yourself with various aspects. Oh, okay. Um... <laughs> You consider the, thorm the thermometer's scanning abilities to be an acceptable loss. What do you mean? Oh! This is going to let our goggles of revealing scan shit. The scholar's lens will automatically scan any block or entity under your crosshair, assuming it's within range. That's cool! Okay, uh, do we have census? Bright blue jar? Yes. 40 of it. We have enough. So basically, these are like wand caps for your goggles of revealing. Is what I've managed to glean from the context. Uh, glass file, feather, and black. We should have some black in here. Yep. And a feather. And I've got a glass file on me. Get in there, get in there, make that. And we also need a book, order, and chaos shard. Order in chaos and books. I think I've still got books on me actually. Yeah. I don't know why. And in the center goes a glass pane, I think. If I remember what the recipe I looked at literally five seconds ago. The proof is in the pudding. Bonk. Yeah, that's what we needed. Uh, yeah, we've definitely got enough magic and definitely got enough uh, cognitio. Oh, it's bringing the census in now. That seems a little loud. I'm going to turn my, uh, my volume down. Sorry, my headphones keep cutting out and coming back in and just really, really fucking me over. So this stuff is TNT, but when it blows something up, instead of dropping items, they drop, um, well, they drop items, but instead of dropping themselves, they drop crystallized aspect of whatever they're made of. 
So if you blow up like a bunch of cobble, it will drop a bunch of chaos and terror, like uh, crystalline aspects, which is kind of cool. Nope, wrong key. That's V. Oh god, I'm gonna need to rebind another key for this, aren't I? Because I set V to drop. Uh, wand focus. Hang on a second. Let's check in here. Uh, not that one. This one. Yes. Lenses can be quickly swapped by holding the V key. Okay, so what if I have nothing on me? Okay, it looks like I need actual goggles of revealing. V, no. What did I change my, uh... New, new... Too many damn keys in this game. New, new, new... That's the jetpack UI. Oh, this is cool. Every node you've scanned gets, like, a marker. Which is kind of ridiculous. It also lets you see all the dimensions that exist. But yeah, these are all the nodes that I've like put down in my world. No, these are the nether ones, sorry. These are the, all, these are the overworld ones. And I basically I put them pretty much all down in the same place. And it says when you scanned them as well. How cool is that? Although you guys now know exactly when I recorded various things because of the nodes that I've scanned. I'm not going to lie, it hasn't been very long since I started recording episode 1, and I'm on like episode 26? Yeah, 26. I need more taint. Well, I mean, that was obvious, that was why I was getting uh, stuff. So, the scholar's lens holding V doesn't seem to work. What if I rebind my drop key to... C, done, and then hold V, hold V on the lens. What is my, um, I think K, yeah. Oh, do I have to hold these in my hands to put them on like that? V, no. Is there a way to apply them? Do I need a specific new pair of goggles for this? Also, I want to change my controls back before I forget. Right. <laughs> By placing a special lens over one of the goggles' eyes, you can benefit from both the magical sight and the lens's unique ability. The first lens amplifies incoming light. That's uh, permanent night vision. So it doesn't actually say how I'm supposed to apply these, and it doesn't even say if my goggles need to be full durability or anything. It just says some goggles of revealing are involved in this at some point, fucko. Really not helpful. Like seriously not helpful in the slightest. Uh, I only have two leather in there. I better have more leather in here. Yeah, I do. Okay, let's see if we can make anything happen. So, glass and gold. For some reason I have neither of those over here. Uh, there's gold and glass. Probably in here, actually. Yeah. <laughs> Shards. Uh, which one do I have the most of? Definitely chaos. For some reason. Right, so we'll build, we'll build ourselves a completely fresh, shining new pair of goggles of revealing. Oh, uh, need that. Right, just clicking the one, it does nothing, I can't equip that. I can't seem to attach this in any way. 
right, let's see. Does it work with this? Nope. I really, really want to use these items. Automatically scan anything. Yeah, that sounds awesome. Uh, so V being my drop key, not too helpful here. K is what I would assume it would be, but that doesn't work. And if I change my drop key to C, and then try holding V, Shift V, Control V, V right click, V Shift Control right click, everything. Absolutely nothing is working here. Hold V on these, equip them, nothing happens. So yeah, how do we use these? Any help at all? Holding the V key or removed by pressing V while holding shift. V. Nope. So we're going to check the controls. Uh, Minecraftopedia? <clears throat> What's morphic fingers? Change arcane lens, could that be what they're talking about? There we go, simple as that. So anything I come across, it will automatically try and scan. Interesting. It means I no longer have to scan stuff. Seriously? Might get annoying after a while, but I can definitely see the benefit in it. I don't think I ever scanned this. Well, it takes a while to scan as well. I thought it would scan faster than that for some reason. But yeah, okay. That's, um, that's cool. And it does mean I no longer have to have goggles of revealing. So when I go node hunting if I ever need to go node hunting again. I don't need to take goggles of revealing, I just have my uh, my goggles do that automatically. The real question is, uh, drop that lens off, does it work with these? Uh, okay. It does. Excellent! Okay. See, really? See, that's the problem is, it was trying to scan something that, uh, it, it was telling me... Scan something, it's scanning stuff now. It was telling me that the button I had to press was a button that didn't do the thing. And it was bound... It was, there was three different sets of controls, like, that should be, could be, and are being used. I really want to know why blocks of stuff no longer has aspect. That really bugs me. So, yeah, that's that. That's cool. Um, I don't know what these other ones do, but I am dreadfully short on certain uh, things. Injector. So let's take a look at this, shall we? Um, while inanimate matter is easy enough to modify through alchemy, living things seldom survive your process. Your recent works have taken you in a different place, instead attempting to modify plants. Okay, so that allows me to make um, plant output. After the success of the first one, applying a similar process to animals seems the next logical step. Providing a chicken egg with warmth and raw life energy will guarantee that the embryo survives until the egg is opened. Better yet, by limiting the process to chicken's infancy, you seem to have solved the, prop the problem of rapid aging with you which plagued your crops. That sounds cool. Do we have any eggs? Eggs, eggs, eggs. I don't think so. No. What about my chickens? They got anything for me? There's an egg. So I can try that at least. It was just some uh, life and some victus. Some fire and victus, sorry. And since I'm a lazy dick, what I'm going to do is just take some fire and some life. And I'm just going to go hoodoo, hoodoo, hoodoo. And throw that on the floor. So I'm assuming... 
yeah, it just guarantees an out. It guarantees a uh, an, a chicken. That's really cool. I always like it when there's something that guarantees a chicken. I'm actually, well, I don't know if it is or not, but I've always said that uh, vanilla needed something like that. Okay. You now have a solid understanding of how alchemy interacts with organ or with an organism's natural growth by selectively applying these techniques. You can propagate individual tissues. You can duplicate meat. Just with uh, three life and then the raw meat. That's pretty cool. Uh, flesh hardening. Okay, you can turn meat into leather. Very useful on this pack. Sorry, my uh, my headphones are just almost completely died. Right. <clears throat> the art of potion making has been practiced for centuries, but is no longer an. Uh, but it need. But its need for esoteric reagents limits its scalability. What if you could use? Uh, what if you could achieve the same ends using a sentia? Interesting. So we can make a syringe. Uh, da, 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 da. The human stomach was not built to process raw magical energies. On the other hand, uh, alchemically treating a sample of your own blood and injecting it back into yourself has been proven. That. So I'm blood doping with magic. Oh, it's the ser the sero converter. I was looking at. I was trying to find how to make this fucking thing for ages. Two of those, one of those, one of those. That is not hard at all. We can do that. Jesus fucking Christ. We can make that. Uh, what do I want? I'm going to want some of these, definitely. Where's my crafting scepter? <laughs> you know what? If we're going to do a lot of this, we'll just do this. So, that's some of those. We are making um, uh, arcane. Are they arc? Fuck! I've forgotten what we're making already. Alchemical constructs. God damn it! Alchemical constructs. Four pipes, two valves, these filters. I want to make a spell. Because obviously I do. Pipes, valves. That's convenient that I have exactly enough. I seriously did not plan this. I was um, I was just planning on reading through and doing a little bit of simple magic for the rest of the uh, rest of the time here, but then I accidentally found what I'd been looking for all this time. Oh, I found something else cool the other day. There's um, something from one of these uh, magic mods. Lets you build things like gauntlets. Uh, I need a sentia buffers. Um, so I'm going to want like... Wait, how many do I need? Damn it. Uh, uh, a sentia valves. For that. Wait. Yeah, uh, a sentia buffers. So I need, what, one of them? And something is wrong with my fucking NEI. Yeah, I need one of those and one comparator, so I want two. <coughs> uh, so I'm going to need two more valves. And I think valves, aren't valves just tubes and levers? Uh, yeah, I found a um, a really cool uh, page in the Thormenormatorn talking about uh, like gauntlets and stuff like that, and it sounds like something that would be really useful to get into early game. It's just a shame Thorncraft is a pain in the ass early game because it's got stuff. Uh, these um, things had stuff like you know uh, these are the gauntlets that let you climb ladders really fast. These are the enchanted boots that let you double jump. These are some cool things. Uh, I forgot them completely. Oh, there we go. I need glass files. No, nope. get back on there. I have four. I need more. Um, what's the recipes for those again? Glass and clay. That makes sense. No alternate recipes. Well, I have glass and clay in there, so that will actually do. <laughs> do that and then that make me some more lovely and I think it's just that no I'm missing something again 
Uh, oh, a restricted one at the bottom. I have a restricted pipe. Isn't that um, lapis? Oh, it's stone. Damn it, so close. Really? That's where the recipe filter is on that. There. I mean, that's kind of cool that you can just bring up a thing that's like, this is everything you know how to craft in Thorncraft from from the basics. I like that. Um, that is the restricted pipe, you donk. There we go. No, I keep dropping things. Ah. Right, and then we put that in there, and then we must take this out and uh, move the mirror Put that back in there, take these. Oh god, I hope you can't see that. Fucking pop-ups from things. What was that one? I think that was... Uh, Adobe Reader. Uh, Redstone Comparators. Oh god, no, take that. Yeah, now we can zoom! Oh, I love being able to move super fast. It's something you uh, never get bored of. It, it, well, I don't anyway. It, it just supplies me with endless enjoyment and, yeah, joy. It gives me actual joy, which is nice. Um, redstone. Three in there. Give me... Oh, man. I'm running out of redstone. That's bad. Do, 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 do. I'm also going to need smithstone. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I'm going to need like six. Like so, and then smoothstone and quartz. There's one piece. Um, can you crack this up? No, can you pulverize it? Uh, yes, you can. There we go. Pulverizer works. <coughs> Luckily for me. And then before we do this, um, eight human, eight change, some magic and life. Plenty of life, plenty of magic. I don't see any human. There's my change. So I need some Humanus. Oh. There we go. Sort that problem out. So it's two of these, one of those, one of those, and Humanus. I have no idea what has Humanus in it. Oh, heads. That makes sense. No, mob drops. Should I use some of my own heads? I suppose I'm not a human, so... Kind of hypocritical. How much humanus do we need? Eight. So I only need to burn two of these, but I'm just going to be safe. And burn four. And, you know, it's not going to hurt to fill up the rest of my area. That sounded... It sounded like I was, it sounded like I was trying to make a really creepily sounding thing, but it didn't quite come out right. So it sounded half creepy and half forced to be overly creepy that failed, which is strange. Uh, where's my comparator? Oh, there it is. And what goes in the center of this? Yeah, I have no clue what goes in the center of this. Oh, crucible. Ah, uh, shame I burnt that one up earlier. Do, 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 do. Seven. Do that. And in case you're wondering, this is why most people don't thorncraft craft on camera. Because, um... You know, it takes a while to just get everything ready. Especially from the point of... This is a recipe I've literally never seen before. To the point of... We're making it. It takes a lot of, uh, time. Is that enough? Is that enough humanus pulled? Yeah, wow, that pulled quick. <clears throat> I should have uh, considered that this would be a uh, an infusion recipe, or that it would be hidden behind another recipe. 
Right, start absorbing. There goes the comparator. Our chemical construct one. Uh, in goes the um, Essentia buffer, and there goes the alchemical construct two. And we have a Cero converter. Yay! Wow! Okay, Cero Converter. Uh, oh! You can give yourself... Okay, so this is giving yourself boosts, like invisibility or flux flu, or... Like, uh, mining speed. That's really cool. So if I give myself that... I need to find, like, something else which has it, I suppose. Okay, so we have to find, like, at least two things which have an enchant, possibly more. I mean, possibly Fabrico would have it. Oh, Instrumentum has it. Yeah, I should probably um, make something to extract my blood with as well. Which isn't a sentence you hear every day, and if you do, you really fucking shouldn't be. Yeah, scan that. Wait, and scan that. Uh, let's put that away, and that. Jesus Christ, my tools are just... The tool tips on my tools are fucking huge. Right, what am I looking for? Uh, I assume it was a glass file? And an iron nugget. I don't know why it would be an iron nugget. I mean, steel? Or maybe something a little more magic y? So that makes a warded syringe. Let's see if we can scan that. Yes, we can. Okay. So we now have a blood syringe. And where did I put this down? Oh, there. So presumably I put my blood in there, and then, huh, so what if I put in four sets, of... I have no idea how this works. Okay. <laughs> right, up to eight units of Ascentia in any combination selected via the Cero Converters interface. The injection's effects depend on the aspects chosen and can be somewhat unpredictable, but you have noticed a few patterns. Each aspect seems to have an affinity for se several potion effects. An injection can only provide one effect per two Ascentia used. It appears the only effect uh, th that only the effects with the highest cumulative affinity are manifested. Okay, so I was right. If we do that. So we have a water in there, and then we put something else in there, like instrumentum. And is that running? I can never tell what music's from what. Uh, I think this might need some form of power. Um, Lux has a strong affinity with night vision. Jesus Christ. Right, um. Automatic or single mode. The former will continue to produce injections as long as the device is provided blood and Ascentia. Oh, it needs Ascentia. Okay, so yeah, it probably does need um, one of these. Yeah? Is that going to work? No. Yeah. Automatic. Okay. So do I have to give it a certain amount? Do I need... Do I need to have these Ascentias in my table? Is that a thing? Like, do I not have... No, I have both of those. Does it have to have eight Ascentia? And then just give it some more... Instrumentum? I have no idea what this means or how to make it work.
<laughs> Drawing your blood with warded syringes can be performed with a right click. Should you also have a need for it, you can draw blood from any living creature. It should be noticed that, noted that the animal blood is not suited for alchemical processing. They can bleed uh, for sanitary reasons. They should be discarded after a single use. Well, at least it teaches good needle etiquette. Um, maybe we have to pipe liquid Ascentia into this. That could make sense, instead of center V. So if we grab some pipes, we might just have to go... No, they don't connect. Let's see, what are we trying to do? We're trying to do four water, four instrumentum. So what if we um, like physically grab some vials? Well, there's an instrumentum. Right there. And then grab some water. There is no way to put it in there. There's no way of accessing it. I do not know how this is supposed to work. I'm sorry, but, you know, this is not the, the easiest thing to work out. There's a there's a lot of things going on here. Up to eight units of Ascentia in any combination. I mean, it's not a massive deal for us if we even do this. I'm just curious at this point, and I would really like to see it working. Oh, by the way, that gets us an Illuminant lens. Which I think is the permanent night vision, yeah. And there's also that one gets us a silverwood sapling. Oh yeah. I wonder if we're supposed to scan that to learn about uh, Vintium. That silverwood sapling is definitely going away because that was not easy for me to get hold of, and I still need two of them. So I still need to get one more somewhere. I don't know where. I'm probably just going to look at knocking out some quests. Speaking of, no, we do not have any uh, random quests completed that I didn't know about. <clears throat> so, I mean, there's a lot of shit going on in this, and I have no idea what half of it is. I should make a wand charging pedestal. That's pretty cool. Oh, I should probably end the episode as well because of the, the time. Did not even realize that. So... I mean, we can make this real quick. It's just a primal charm. Which is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, let's make a primal charm. Primal charms are cool. They, like, talk to you. I say they talk to you. They, uh, they throw stuff at you occasionally. I think it's earth, then water. Damn it, water, then earth. Also, did I get the... Uh, I did. And I just need some gold. A lot of gold used in Thorncraft. Take that back. Primal Charm. What else do we need? We need uh, two diamonds and a gold. And a pedestal. Gold. Two Diamondium. Nope, that's Emeraldium. And a pedestal. A petal stool. Let's just knock this one out real quick. Why not? We're here. We might as well. Gold. Diamond. Primal. Diamond. And then we need uh, ten sun, ten change some magic. Sun, magic, fine. Change. Everything's good. So then we go honk. <laughs> Wonk. I do make some horrendous noises. Let's see if this is spreading. It doesn't really... I can't tell if it's spreading because I don't have a node. What I need is a node, like um, a tainted node, to spew um, taint so I can easily get hold of a bunch of it. And I can like definitely see that that's happening. You know, it might be useful to actually um, 
take this recharging pedestal, put a compound focus on it. Because I know we don't have to charge stuff like that, but we do have our, uh, our little fake node crystal here. Ethereal shard normal. Wait, does that mean ethereal shards can be not normal? Ooh. And that gives us two gold caps and a hearty breakfast. I mean, the hearty breakfast isn't even as good as the food we already have. And we can't eat anything right now anyway. And fucking gold caps, really, for that. But hopefully we knocked out a couple, we unlocked a couple new quests that I can look at. Oh, well, there's the relay. That gives us a relay and a node and a jar. Really? A 15 all around node. Damn. Actually, let's scan that real quick. Thank you. Yeah, um, that node is definitely staying in there uh, for now. Oh man, you know, I'm gonna probably build a few of these things, like the uh, the focus manipulator and the uh, levitator off camera, because it's 40 minutes. I meant to end this ages ago. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. I will see you next time. Peace out.